Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Talalipop and today we are taking a look at some more 2021 bikes in the Specialized lineup and those are the new Fuse models. This lineup has three different models in it and those are the normal Fuse 27.5, the Fuse Comp 29, and the Fuse Expert 29. All of these have had updates for 2021, so in this video I will be covering all the components that have changed since 2020, and I will explain generally what these changes will do for the bikes. That being said, I want to quickly mention right now that the frame geometry has not changed since 2020 for any of the three models. But as always, I will be including tables at the end of this video to show you all the changes in one place, so you can see them a bit more clearly. However, if you are new to the channel, thank you for watching, and if you are interested, I do make a lot of different comparison videos similar to this one, like the one I made for the Specialized Rockhopper, or for other brands like Trek, and since the Fuse can be seen as a competitor to the Trek Roscoe, I will link that video now. But before we get into the actual changes for 2021, I do want to give a quick background on the Fuse lineup for those of you who are unfamiliar. Basically, the Fuse bikes are intended to be playful bikes meant to go over lots of rough terrain, since they have wider tires at 2.6 to 2.8 inches wide depending on the specific model. They all come with dropper seat posts and are thus generally more made for difficult trails that have a lot of obstacles and technical portions. And with that out of the way, let's start the comparison with the Fuse 27.5. Starting with the price, this bike in 2020 was priced at $1,250, or 999 British pounds, but the 2021 model has slightly increased in price to $1,300. Unfortunately, at the time of me making this video, these bikes have not been released on the UK website, so I do not know their official prices in pounds. The 2020 bike came in the colors Gloss Crimson with Rocket Red Accents, and Satin Sage Green with Black Accents. The 2021 model replaces both of these with Gloss Sky with Cast Blue Accents, and Gloss Tarmac Black with Abalone Accents. Besides those changes, the brakes have been upgraded from the entry-level Tektro M275 hydraulic disc brakes to the Shimano MT200 hydraulic disc brakes, which are also entry-level brakes, but they are just from Shimano instead of Tektro, and they are seen in a lot of bikes around this price point. The rotors are dependent on the frame size, but all bikes come with 160mm rear rotors and will either have a 160mm in the front as well or a 180mm rotor in larger sizes. The hubs are also different as the 2020 bike used a stout 24 hole hub in the front and a specialized 32 hole in the rear, but the 2021 model replaces both of these with Shimano MT400 hubs from Shimano's Altus group set, with a 28 hole in the front for more strength and a 32 hole in the rear. These new hubs use boost spacing for added strength as well, and are actually center locking hubs which just allows for slightly easier assembly and disassembly of the brake rotors on the bike. And the last change we have is to the drivetrain. The 2020 Fuse 27.5 used a mainly Shimano Dior 1x10 drivetrain, though it did have some parts that aren't part of the same group set, like the KMC X10 chain and the Sunrays cassette. The new bike, however, upgrades to the Shimano Dior M5100 1x11 drivetrain, which uses all M5100 parts, excluding the chain, which is also from KMC. The main difference here is the amount of speeds, and going from that 10-speed Dior to the 11-speed in 2021 will give you a wider range of gears in the rear cassette for more efficient pedaling. And speaking of the cassette, the 2020 Fuse used a Sunrace 11-42 tooth cassette, while the 2021 model uses a Shimano Dior 11-51 tooth, which should make pedaling a lot easier. Now let's move on to the Fuse Comp 29. This bike has also changed in price, since the 2020 model was $1,675, or 1,300 pounds, and the 2021 model is now $1,750. So once again, we're seeing a small price increase, but let's check out what you get for that added money, starting with, of course, the colors. 
The 2020 bike came in satin black with dove gray accents and gloss dove gray with cast blue accents. The 2021 bike replaces these both with satin smoke with black accents as well as gloss red tint with flake silver and silver foil accents. We once again have updates to the braking system on this bike, and the 2020 Fuse Comp came with SRAM level hydraulic disc brakes that were two piston in the front and rear, while the 2021 model now uses Shimano M4100 hydraulic disc brakes with four piston calipers in the front for much better stopping power, and two pistons in the rear. Both these brakes still use size dependent rotors, but you will be getting at least a 180mm rotor in the front and a 160 in the rear, which also helps a lot with stopping power. Next we have, once again, the hubs. These changes are similar to the Fuse 27.5 hub changes, so the specialized 28 hole front hub and the 32 hole rear hub have been swapped out for the Shimano MT410 center locking 28 hole hubs that use boost spacing for ease of assembly and added strength. But these hubs are actually from Shimano's higher level Dior group set. And finally we have the drivetrain. The 2020 bike used a SRAM SX Eagle 1x12 drivetrain with a 30 tooth SX Eagle crankset, while the 2021 model replaces this drivetrain with a mainly Shimano Dior M6100 1x12, with the exception of the crankset, which is still a 30 tooth but from Stout instead of Shimano. Both bikes use cassettes from their respective drivetrains, but the SRAM is an 11 to 50 tooth cassette while the Shimano is a 10-51 to 51 tooth, which should be even more efficient while pedaling, allowing you to pedal both faster downhill or on flat portions, and with less effort going uphill. And lastly, we have the Fuse Expert 29. This bike in 2020 was priced at $2,150, or £1,650, and like the other bikes, it has increased in price for 2021, but this time a couple hundred dollars more to $2,400. There is only one color option available in this bike for both years, and that was satin brushed alloy with chameleon accents in 2020, and satin brushed alloy with redwood accents in 2021. The first change besides those is actually to the suspension fork. Both the 2020 and 2021 forks are still air forks with 130mm of travel, but the 2020 Fuse Expert used a RockShox 35 Gold RL fork with 35mm stanchions, while the 2021 bike goes to the Fox Float 34 Rhythm fork, which has smaller 34mm stanchions, but it does have Fox's proprietary grip dampening system, which should work pretty well for absorbing bumps on the trail smoothly. The brakes have also been upgraded, from the SRAM level TRL brakes in 2020 that used 4 piston calipers in the front and 2 piston calipers in the rear, to the Shimano Dior M6100 4 piston brakes in both the front and the rear for really good stopping power. However, the brake rotors in the 2021 bike will not go as high as 200mm in the front, but all sizes will be equipped with 180mm rotors in the front and either a 180 or 160 millimeter rotor in the rear. The hubs have also been updated unsurprisingly, but they were the exact same hubs as the previous Fuse Comp model in 2020, and they have been changed to the same new Shimano hubs in 2021, with the exception of the rear hub, which is mostly the same, but it is a Shimano MT510 instead of an MT410, which just means that it has an internal grease sleeve to increase the life of the hub. Now onto the drivetrain. The 2020 Fuse Expert used a SRAM NX Eagle 1x12 drivetrain with a 30 tooth NX Eagle crankset, while the 2021 model goes a step above that to the Shimano SLX M7100 1x12 drivetrain, which uses a 30 tooth Shimano M7120 crankset. The SRAM drivetrain from the 2020 bike used an 11 to 50 tooth cassette while the new bike has a 10-51 tooth Shimano SLX cassette for a wider range and more efficiency. The SLX drivetrain in general is more comparable to the SRAM GX Eagle drivetrain, which is a step above the NX, and thus, the SLX is a clear upgrade for 2021. 
Alright, so now I'm going to show all three tables I made so far to display every single change these bikes have had since 2020. But with that, I have covered all the current changes from 2020 to 2021 for the Specialized Fuse lineup. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, please leave a like and subscribe. And if I missed anything in the video or made any mistakes, please feel free to leave a comment and I will try my best to fix it. And if you do have any questions or suggestions besides that, feel free to ask. But thank you all for watching and keep biking.